In this tutorial, we are going to learn division of decimal fractions. After this tutorial, you will be able to divide any decimal by any decimal. Uh, let's get started. Like us and subscribe, do not forget. Uh, let's begin with examples because this is quite technical and we have to solve more examples. Uh, example number one. Example number one, let's divide number 16.5024 by number 54. Um, as I said, this is technical and I will solve problems. I will perform division and first of all we will divide decimal fraction by integer number and then after this we will learn how to divide decimal by decimal. Um, first of all let's look at number 16 since 54 is consisting of two digits we take two digits, it's 16, and how many 54 we have inside 16? Uh, zero, and we write zero, and we write floating point. Next, we look at um, three-digit number, 165, and do not pay attention um, that it has a floating point. Let's assume this is number 165. And how many 54, 54s we have inside 165? We have three actually. And three times 54 is 162. So we write minus, we write minus 162. 165 minus 162 is 3. And we write this 0 here. Is it enough for division? How many 54s we have inside 30? zero. Next we write next number which is two here yeah. and how many 54 we have inside 302. Actually we have five and five times 54 is 270 so we write minus 270. 302 minus 270 is 32, obviously. And we write next number 4, and we have 324. Uh, inside 324, we have exactly 6 54s. And it will be, since 6 times 54 is 324, this is minus 324, which is zero. That's why if we divide uh, our number 16.5024 divided by number 54 is equal to 0 0.3056. This is an answer. Let's solve uh, next problem. Next example. Example number two. Uh, let's divide 0 0.27 and 3 divided by 65. As I said, we here always, in the first examples, assume that 
uh, we divide by integer number and then we will uh, I will give you a general case first of all we have to be able to divide by integer number uh, let's perform a division and write a zero zero point two hundred and seventy three and divide it by number 65 um, how many 65 65s we have inside 0 this is a 0 and next we assume number 2 how many 65s we have inside 2 0 how many 65s we have inside 27 0 and how many 65s we have inside 273? Let's work it out and... Uh, inside 273 we have 4 65s. And 4 times 65 is 260. So we write minus 260. 273 minus 260 is 13. Next, we assume that here, actually, we have a zero. We can write it. Uh, we can avoid to write it. But anyway, we have it here. Um, write this zero here. And how many? 65 so we have inside 130 exactly 2 and 2 times 65 is 130 so we write minus 130 which is 0 so our answer will be 0 0.00 and 42 uh, let's give another example number 3 example number 3 Let's divide number 342.375 divided by 15. Um, let's write it again, 342.375 divided by number 15 um, this must be quite long example how many 15s we have inside 34 it, two actually we have two 15s and we write two two times 15 is 30 we write minus 30 34 minus 30 is 4. We write here 2. How many 15s we have inside 42? And answer is 2. And 2 times 15 is 30. We write minus 30. 42 minus 30 is 12. We write here number 3. How many 15s we have inside 123? Uh, we have um, 8. 8. And do not forget, put here decimal points. Minus 120. And 123 minus 120 is 3. We write here number 7. Inside 37, we have 15 two times. <clears throat> and 2 times 15 is 30. So we write minus 30, which is 7. And we write number 5 here. How many 15s we have inside 75? Exactly 5. 
5 times 15 is 75, 75 minus 75 is 0, and we have an answer. This is our answer. And 342.375 divided by 15 is 22.825. Let's solve um example, last example, example number four, where we divide decimal number as 0. 0 0.04569 divided by 0. Uh, 0.0012. Um, before we solved examples where we performed division by integer number, and here we have decimal number, decimal fraction divided by decimal fraction, and how we um, transform our problem into another problem where we, we perform division by integer number. Very easy. We just um, shift our decimal points. Uh, here we, we can shift our decimal point four times. One, two, three, four times. And uh, we have... 12. Here we also can shift our decimal number four times. One, two, three, and four. And we will have 456.9. And result of division of these two examples is the same. And next we solve uh, this problem, this example where this is again division by integer number. Let's perform it. Um, 456.9 divided by 12. Okay. Uh, how many, how many 12? 12 we have inside 45, actually 3, and we write 3, 3 times 12 is 36, so this is minus 36, 45 minus 36 is 9, 9, we write here 6, and how many 12s we have inside 96? Actually, exactly 8. We write 8. And since our integer part of the number, uh, is finished, we put floating point here. Um, and 8 times 12 is 96. So we have 0. Next, we rewrite our number 9 our number 9, and uh, inside number 9, we have 12 zero times. So we write 0, and we add another 0 from here, and we have 90. Inside, inside 90, we have 12 7 times, and 7 times 12 is 84, so we write minus 84, 90 minus 84 is 6. We write here 0 in the tail of this number, and which gives us 60. Inside 60, we have number 12 five times, and 5 times 12 is exactly 60. So 60 minus 60 is 0, and we solve our problem. And this is an answer. So, um, answer to our second problem or the first problem will be the same, and this is 38.075. Uh, 
Now you are able to divide any decimal fraction by any decimal fraction. Um, like and subscribe if you liked uh, my video. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.